Hi guys, how are you? It is Missy and in today's video I did my foundation using a powder foundation. This is the JCAT Aqua Assurance Powder and I use this for my foundation today. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so to get started, I'm actually going to go into my Tarte Best Tape Hydrating Primer and I'm going to mix in a little of the Maybelline Master Chrome Strobing Liquid. I've already got my Sunday Riley face cream on. I really want a moisturized base since I am going in with an all powder foundation. So I just take a little bit of the strobing cream, not much at all, and mix that in with my primer. You can use whatever hydrating primer you want. And if you don't want the strobing cream, you don't have to use it. Put this all in. I just got back from um, the river and staying a few nights there and not wearing makeup, which was super nice, but it's also super nice to get back in to makeup. I have not had makeup on my face in like three days. Okay, so I feel like I am pretty hydrated. Yeah, you definitely, unless you have oily skin, I wouldn't suggest going in with a matte primer at all for this. So the star of the show is the Aquasurance uh, Powder by JCAT. I do believe this retails for $13.99. I will double check the price and link it down below. I actually have two shades. So I have the shade 101 Ivory and 100 Porcelain. So the 101 Ivory is good for all over. And then I like the 100 just to kind of brighten up the middle areas. And for this, I actually do like to go into the applicator that it comes with. So I'm just going to... It is crazy how much coverage this has. And again, this is for me the shade 101 Ivory. Insane. And I just like to press it on first. I haven't filmed in about a week. I've been having some health issues with my sinuses. Still not feeling great, but I do know that doing my makeup makes me feel better and is a great distraction. So I'm just going with it. If I seem a little sluggish, that's why. It's so weird to have just like an all matte base right now. I've never worn this just as a foundation. I usually um, use it as my setting powder to add some extra coverage, just go in with a brush. I am noticing on my dry areas, like my upper lip, it is kind of looking cakey there, just from blowing my nose, but we can see if we can fix that. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put concealer on first because I just was going right in. Let's fingers crossed that I can do my concealer without it getting weird. So for concealer, I'm going to go into the Magic Star Concealer. I am in the shade C3. I knew I was going to like mess something up because I'm just like, my head has been killing me. And so I'm like, my brain, I'm just like, it's like scrambled eggs. But we'll get through it. One way or another, I'll get through it. And I'm really sincerely hoping this does not affect the powder that I just put on. If it does, I'll just start over. You guys ready for fall and holidays and all of that? I'm not. <laughs> I love fall. I love Christmas. I love Halloween, Thanksgiving. I love all of it, but I'm just, this year, I'm, I'm just not ready. Okay, let's see what that did. Okay, it's fine. I think it's fine. We're going to say it's fine. I got big plans tonight, watching a movie at home with my boys and eating popcorn and candy. And so if it's not perfect, that's okay. For my under eyes, I'm going to go into the same powder, but in the shade 100. And I'm going to actually take my brush, but get a lot of product on there and just pounce that in. And you can see how brightening that is and how much coverage it adds. So far, besides the areas of dryness, it looks really good. My pores 
look minimized. It doesn't feel heavy, which is crazy. Okay. And then one last step I am going to do is just take a big powder brush and just kind of blend this in just to make sure we are blended and not looking too cakey. Okay, so the base is done. I'm actually going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on and the final step I wanted to do on camera was setting spray because I think with an all powder finish like this, I want something that is going to melt everything together and not make me look cakey at all. For that, it's going to be the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I got my hair in there. This stuff is like, seriously a miracle. It's a miracle. Okay, so this is close up. I think it looks really good. I don't feel powdery or cakey. I will see um, how it wears throughout the day. I'll do a check-in um, in about three to four hours um, to let you know how it wears throughout the day. Um, but really fast, what I'm wearing on the rest of my face, I just did something super basic. So for bronzer, I have the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100. Highlight, of course, the Honest Beauty uh, highlight here. For blush, I have my e.l.f. Bright Pink Blush, an oldie but goodie. On my eyes, I just have, this is the old school Too Faced Natural Eyes. They repackaged, but I'm pretty sure all the shades are the same. But I just took some of the browns and did that. On my waterline, I have um, the Avon Luxury Liner in Brown. Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. So for the lips, I'm not sure if I'm loving this color. I think it might look, make me look a little dead. It might be a little bit gray, but I'm going for it. So I have on the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bachi, Baki, B-A-C-I, don't know. I butchered that, I know I did. And then over top of it, I have the Buxom Gloss in the shade Sophia. So this is it. Um, I will be back in a few hours to do a wear test and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I thought it'd be a good idea to come out and do a shot in natural lighting so you guys can see what it looks like. And I think it looks good. I do see some creasing a little bit happening over here, but other than that, so far so good. We'll see in a few hours. All right, guys, it is the end of the night for me, and besides my eyebrows looking a bit crazy and me looking super exhausted, um, I think this powder foundation actually lasted better than I thought. Um, as the natural oils on my skin started to come through, um, it really blended everything in. It looks good on my forehead. I don't have any more creasing than I did when I first started over here and it does not look bad around the dry area. And what I'm super impressed with actually is I've been blowing my nose a lot and it hasn't rubbed off my nose like a normal liquid foundation. So I would like to give this one a try for maybe eight to 12 hours, something I would actually wear um, to work and for the majority of the day. But um, I thought this was a fun video to do just to see how this would work out for a couple hours. And yeah, I was thoroughly impressed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please show me some love by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.